I think it's about 1 or 2 a.m. or something like that. My head hurts so much. I feel like I've got massive black rings around my eyes. Just in so much pain in my stomach and my tummy area. And it's going in my back as well. And slightly down my legs as well. But I can't keep doing this having periods. I mean, hopefully this is one of the last times that I get it because I've started tea already. It is such a low dose. A gel form of testosterone usually takes longer for the changes to start to happen. Injections. I just cannot at all get to sleep. I really want to get to sleep, but I just can't. Probably going to end up staying awake all night or at least getting very little sleep. Probably like two hours or something. But I don't know how cis women can go through this almost their entire life. I dread to think what would that what that would be like. I'm 23 now, and I think mine started when I was like 11. So that's 10, well at least 10 years of having periods and I've seriously had enough of this and had enough of that. I just can't be dealing with it anymore. Thankfully, I don't think. My periods have actually ever gone on longer than a few days, probably like four or five. And I just hate it so much considering that they sort of jump and move around. Like one time they could be first week of every month and then the third week of every month and then the second and then the fourth and it just changes so much. And I feel like they just cause me so much pain and dysphoria that thankfully this time around I don't think I have to be anywhere or go anywhere for the next few days so really I'm not gonna be leaving my house in any way shape or form for the next few days it makes me a bit better I don't need to or have to go anywhere pain is so awful I don't want it to keep going on so exhausting to have to go through this all the time if I ever owned a company and was just in charge of all the decisions, I would definitely allow everyone who gets periods to have at least a few days off every month so they can just be at home wherever and just have to go through this every day or every month at work. And obviously it would be op optional, you don't have to take off the days if you don't want to, but hopefully I can get to the point where I own my own salon or something like that, because I really want to have my own place where it's inclusive of everyone and doesn't make people feel uncomfortable about being in a hair salon or hairdressers or barber shop or whatever they want to call themselves. I do like the fact that the toilet, well there's a toilet in town centre that's like gender inclusive toilet and it has like sanitary products in it so if I ever needed it then I know that they're there. And it's free, so you don't have to pay for it or anything. It's such a good idea. Why can't they have them in more places? Like, why is it not included more in more places? I guess it's more difficult if a building's already been built and there's no room or space for an inclusive toilet. But why can't they just have something like that? and actually have the people be respectful. Wait for the day that my periods stop. I've said before, this is just so draining and I'm probably gonna be in bed or in my bedroom for the next few days, only really going out if I need the toilet, which is like right next to my bedroom probably going down to get food and drinks and that but that's about it i just don't know how people can do this and get through it i don't know but i've never found a way that stops my periods at all i've tried a few things that claim to stop it but hasn't stopped it can't do it even as an adult where i'm not in school anymore
don't have to be around those people you get in school and in college they just constantly mock you and tease you and like why why do you have to do it or why do you go through it or just genuinely being horrible about it i don't know if i'm making any kind of sense i seriously doubt it but i'm a trans person so i have female chromosomes and i have to go through periods and this is just how i am at the moment i know that the first day is always the worst hopefully you can just skip through until the last day when i know it's gonna be a lot better but it's gonna be such a long process to get to then and i just cannot be bothered anymore i know what i know is when i get when it gets gets to the morning and i go downstairs i'm gonna really take some paracetamol i don't want to go down right now because i'll end up waking people up and just don't have the energy or the effort or anything at all no this is probably worse for me than cis women but i genuinely believe that it's bad for most people all the stories that you hear about what it's like being on and not being able to move and all that stuff is so true just don't understand why people wouldn't want to believe it and why people like oh just get over yourself i mean if you have them bad enough and you can like prove that you have it really bad why would you be forced into working no matter what job it is just why would you want to be forcing people into work when obviously is causing them so much pain and discomfort that even not doing anything hurts and even paracetamol or any kind of pills don't seem to make a difference i'm just gonna try and turn the light off and go to sleep and try get some sleep i don't think it will be any better tomorrow i've got like food on the floor next to me and I've got stuff that I can just drink or eat if I want to until tomorrow. But this is so genuinely horrific that hopefully it's the last time. Just like not being able to do stuff because of having this. Like I haven't even got anything planned and it makes me feel bad that I can't even get out and go out and do something because practically can't walk because of the pain at the moment and i'm not exaggerating it is just true seriously believe anyone who says that it's really bad probably giving birth to a child is the only thing that's worse than how i feel right now not that i know what it's like to give birth to a baby because i've never done it before never been pregnant or anything like that which is a godsend because i don't know what i would do if i ever found out that i was gonna have a baby probably be six feet under but just a bit sad and tragic but i think every single period that i've had has been like this since the very start at it at about 11. I don't know if how I'm feeling at the moment it's because it's January or I'm so sad and depressed and can't wait until this stops and just be rid of it and just open up so many things for me to be able to do and not have to waste a few days every month not being able to do anything.